Selection box is one of the important tools in Revit. In this project, we are going to explore how to use the selection box inside of your project. Let's begin. Select any element and of course you can do that in any view at all. So I hold down the control key, select this, select this and maybe add dining table as well. And then once you do that, you notice a contextual tab opens up. Right here on the view panel, you're going to see the selection box icon. Select it and it opens up and I select them in one 3D view go here and turn it to whichever position you want it to be so you can see if you select this you're going to see that there are points by which you would likely adjust your selection box or maybe you can go ahead and right click and hide the selection box in view since it's selected so you have all these elements and you can also click on this visual style and change it to maybe shaded so you can see what you've selected well even this level symbol here you can also hide them in view and also call it back whenever it is needed so you have this now one of the things you would notice after you've isolated all of these is that if you try to open up another 3d view you will not be able to do so for example i click on this 3d view you would notice that it's been overridden by this view here so what you have to do is to right click on the 3d view right here on your project browser you right click and rename this furniture 3d view so once you click outside you've saved that and if you need to bring up your 3d default view outside this you can just click here 3d default view all you have to do is to click here so you have this view saved on your project put it on a sheet and present it just like this it all depends on you that's number one point this time around let's select a few other things maybe i select this furniture elements and in this case i include the staircase and then the selection box the height is different from the previous one this is to prove that the selection box height is controlled by the height of the elements selected here because the staircase is going above and up to three meters high it has to take the height of the highest element there so in this case you either drag this down to cut it to your desired height or you drag it up to increase it the more so that's it or maybe if at any point you want to undo the selection box and return it back to the default 3d view all you have to do is to come to property panel scroll down and right here you're going to see section box once you uncheck this section box you have undone the selection box with this we have concluded this tutorial and if you've learned something new please like and share this video so that more people can see and benefit from it subscribe for more revit tips thanks for watching